starting with audio version 3.8 Podman is not in experimental mode anymore anymore so now you can run audio dev with platform Podman we don't need to specify the experimental mode uh, environment variable anymore and so it will start on Podman you can see on Podman the stop a new pod has been created and so it is running if you want to get the logs you need to specify again the platform podman as you do for audio dev and now you will get the pod for audio logs for this pod if you want to get the list of components <coughs> when you run audio list component you get the component either on cluster or on podman here we can see the component we just started and I have other component running on the cluster you don't need to specify the platform because it will look into all platforms by default and if you want to describe the component you can run audio describe component with its name you can see it has detected it into podman or you can even because you are into the same directory you can forget the name and it will work on the local the file and it will find it running on podman you could also run audio delete component normally you don't have to because the component would be stopped when you hit ctrl c but in case of any problem you can run audio delete component and it will delete the component from Podman. I will say no here and I will stop correctly the container here. So that's it for the demo.